Okay, so we're going to talk about biceps. There's two heads to the bicep, the outer brachius, okay, and the inside brachius, which is the inside head. Okay, arms as a whole, you've got your forearms, triceps, biceps, if you want to incorporate the shoulders. Okay, but we're going to talk about biceps. So, I'm going to show you a standard bicep curl on a barbell. I'm going to show you how to hit both heads of the bicep with just two different hand positions. So let's grab the barbell. And this is a neutral grip. A neutral grip. A neutral grip is where you just relax your arms, okay, and they drop, and they drop. So mine are about here. Now I'm going to go for the inside head of the bicep here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my shoulder blades back, okay, and when I curl up, I'm going to slightly drift my wrist backwards, only a little bit. So the wrist kind of drift backwards a little bit, and that takes the emphasis off the forearms and lets the bicep work more. Now breathing's important, but we'll talk about that in another video. Okay, but shoulder blades back. When we curl up, we tense the bicep, and we squeeze at the top, and back down. Now if I go to the side view, you'll see that I'm keeping my elbow pretty much locked to the side of my body. Okay, shoulder blades back, curl up, wrist go backwards, and I squeeze. Now I do get a little bit of movement when my elbow's coming up. That's allowing me to squeeze my bicep more at the top. That's personal preference. I'd rather you keep the elbows tight to the body, shoulder blades back, okay? Always fully extend on a standard bicep curl. When we curl up, you squeeze, okay? And squeeze. Now I'm also emphasizing my little finger more than anything else in this. So I'm kind of, when I curl up on the bar, twisting my wrist a little bit, okay? That will dictate more to the inside head. Now if I get a closer grip, which is this sort of grip, and emphasize my index finger more, I work more to the outside head. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, here, I keep my elbows tight to my body, the shoulder blades are always back, because if you roll the shoulders forward, your shoulders get involved. Okay, once again, I let the wrist drift back a little bit. So I tense the arms up, I curl up, I squeeze at the bottom, I bring it back. Okay, squeeze, control, Squeeze, control, squeeze, control, okay? Now, if you haven't watched any of the videos yet on uh, repetitions, time in repetitions, how long it should be curling up and how long you should be doing the negative. So this is a positive on the way up, okay? And on the way down is the negative and what you should be doing there. There are other videos that are gonna explain this in full. Okay, so now I'm gonna do exactly the same as what I've just done. Okay, I'm going to hit them two heads, but slightly different this time. So I'm not going to do exactly the same time. This time I'm going to use a set of dumbbells. Okay, so I'm going to grab the dumbbells. And this is the standard dumbbell curl. Okay, but instead of using a bar, I can get a better twist on the little finger at the top, so I can twist my wrist more, and I'm squeezing, and that's going more to my inside head. Okay, elbows tight to the body, here, parallel or such, okay, but they're not moving around, they're not jumping up or anything like that. Shoulder blades back, curl up and squeeze at the top. Okay, same here. Now, now if I go to a hammer curl, I'm gonna hit the head, the outside head of the bicep. That was what I was doing with the close grip on the barbell. Okay, so shoulder blade back, hammer curl and squeeze. Okay, you can do what we're doing on the barbell here, link them together. Okay, and what you can also do there is, which is good, is emphasize the index finger. So there's four moves there. Forget about the hammer curl one, because I'm gonna go over another video in that. Okay, so four moves there, all working the same muscle groups, but just variations. So the first one was with a barbell. Okay, wide grip, emphasizing the little finger, goes to the inside head, close grip, emphasizing the index finger, goes to the more the outside head, and then with dumbbells, the same thing, but you get a better twist because you you can actually bend your wrist more, so you can twist your wrist more, so you go more to here, and the close grip here, okay, and you can emphasize your index finger there. So that's a standard dumbbell and barbell curl, okay.